President, you may now proceed, International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Monsieur le Co-Procureur, vous avez la parole. Merci, je ne serai pas long, Monsieur le Président. Nous short. n'avons pas d'objection à ce no que le temps soit aménagé uh, de façon à ce que manage the time in such a way that uh, all civil, civil parties who are in the case the that are scheduled for tomorrow can come. I think it would be a bit hard to say right now, well, no, you cannot come. Uh, Donc, uh, peut-être à titre uh, so exceptionnel demain, uh, maybe tomorrow, nous n'avons pas d'objection à ce que l'audience se basis, tienne dans l'après-midi. No Concernant les documents uh, qui ne seraient disponibles qu'en une seule langue, je ne pense pas que ce soit vrai. Language, en tout cas, il me semble que pour les huit parties civiles, j'ai chaque fois trouvé Parties, uh, which be a big issue. De documents I have been able en anglais, uh, to français, si generally find bien, all the documents uh, uh, in English and in uh, French voilà. if you look à carefully limite, inside la de So, so de the Cusson-Pont defense si could also uh, come see me uh, if uh, uh, they have a hard time Merci finding beaucoup. certain of the documents in French or in English. Thank you very much. Just. Well, simply, uh, remarque, a small le comment, de, de Mr. President, and thank you for giving me the floor again. Um, à de notre, de notre confrère Copé, qui As nous, qui uh, nous sur un débat qui pour nous Mr. Copé la, suggested, la Cour suprême, uh, and, uh, la façon dont vous avez and utilisé concerning the way uh, that you have used uh, the uh, statements on harm la discussion que nous avons aujourd'hui does not concern the que discussion we have today nous this is a discussion that will happen at the point appeal point stage we of uh, course we're going to uh, answer uh, point by point uh, au brief d'appel uh, the de, appeal uh, de la défense de Nunchia sur ce point the points nous in the Nunchia appeal brief we disagree with uh, much of the analysis that is done with regard to the specific but we don't I believe that it's useful to have this debate today. Réitère, uh, and I'd like ma, to uh, ma position. À titre say again que, uh, that, uh, essentially speaking, we believe that uh, the schedule as proposed uh, meets the request as well as the previous jurisprudence of the chamber. Si and as a side, if uh, you believe that it's necessary to have more leeway uh, for the parties to organize their questions, well, we have already civils, identified two civil parties, and, and I can give you the names now or by by email after the Deux break to civil parties that are willing to come ouais. testify tomorrow afternoon. President, thank you very much. You may now proceed, Merci. Judge Fens. La juge Fens a la parole. Yeah, th this is about um, basically what the appeals brief is saying. And while, I'm, while we are clearing not at the appeal stage, I've wondered about the possible well, mistake that has been made and might have led to wrong conclusions. I'm referring to 189, paragraph 189 of the appeals brief, where I think the core argument is quoted, what, we, what the Chamber has said. But the fact is, this paragraph or this ruling by the Chamber referred to character witnesses. And it's very clear if you look at the reference. You quote one by one what we said in the decision, you actually quote 72.3, about character witnesses. Now, obviously, character witnesses, sole purpose is to enable the child chamber to determine, etc., etc. But that's about character witnesses. Now, then you quote uh, all kinds of international jurisprudence. I'm not going into this. And in paragraph 193, you say, had the trial chamber not informed the accused that victim impact testimony would be used only to determine sentences and reparations, the defense would have objected, etc. Now, provided this is not a wrong reference, wherever did we tell the defense that Victim impact testimony, victim's impact testimony would only be used to determine sentence. That would perhaps help if we could get that clarification. Um, <laughs> I, of course, uh, don't expect um, the trial chamber to readily um, 
accept uh, errors of law uh, or, or fact. Um, I'm not now in a position to go standing on my feet, uh, reply quickly to uh, to what you're saying. Uh, but I do note um, another reference which um, was quoted in, in paragraph 189. Um, and that's also, I mean, that's how we understood it, and that's how we uh, that's how Nunchi understood it at the time. Um, that's why he was asked if it's okay uh, not to appear while civil parties were giving civil voilà impact testimony. Si that's what our understanding was. And, um, um, and again, th th if you're saying now Alors, si vous um, nous dites your understanding was wrong, then we know that. Then if having said that, having heard that, then of course our request uh, to have equal time becomes much stronger. Mais um, notre de, autant de temps que and les autres maybe the other parties can correct me, but I think this is how everybody understood the way Civil, uh, impact, civil party impact Mais testimony was to be treated. If we are now saying, um, if we are now hearing nous, you saying, well, on what did you base that? Um, then, yeah, well, we have a, I suppose, another situation. I agree um, that this is an, an issue that should be dealt with at appeal stage. Um, but um, if you're now saying, uh, yes, whatever is being said during civil uh, party, impact testimony can be used Mais as si evidence, then the situation right now to us is crystal clear. We need at least the same time as uh, the nous other parties. And my next question is a practical Là, one. Um, à vous poser. And this is to the co-lead lawyers. Je aux co do, pour les do we understand correctly that basically all the compris? civil parties you have les suggested or put forward for suffering pour les are also fact witnesses, meaning can say something about the facts. Des qui sur des faits. Pour well, pour répondre à la question sans, sans I, présager de ce, de ce qu'elles font dire. Well, I cannot predict um, what they're going to say. Toutes ont été admises comme victimes directes direct de Trump-Cock, Trump Trump donc potentiellement so potentially, toutes pourraient, dans le, le cadre de leur récit sur le préjudice, aborder des questions qui pourraient être considérées comme des questions factuelles. Le President, you may now proceed. Uh, uh, accusation à la parole. You are the last person to speak. Uh, le dernier à intervenir. I just wanted to respond uh, quickly to the issue that uh, Mr. Coppi has raised. I have a different recollection than him, um, and I'm in the process of searching the very huge transcript of, of these proceedings, but I remember being in this court um, this issue being debated about whether victim impact testimony could be used not only for that but also for facts and a ruling being made that it would be used and that we all had that understanding, very clear understanding. I remember being rather outraged when I saw this argument in the Nunche brief. Um, uh, I will search through the record and find, find where this discussion took place because I think it is an important point, but I, but I, I uh, completely disagree with what the council has said here. My, our understanding, and I believe there was a debate about this in this courtroom, uh, was that victim impact testimony could be used for that purpose. Mm. Question to the co-party lawyers. President, the Chamber. Le President. Told already that uh, the international deputy co-prosecutor was the last person to speak uh, today after other parties. The matin. chamber, thank you very much uh, for your submissions in relation to the request by counsel for Mr. Nunchia. The chamber will take all information into account and will issue a decision in due course. 
and the chamber with uh, also will take into account and decide uh, the the request of a legal lawyer in relation to the hearing uh, tomorrow for two civil parties. Actually, we schedule to hold hearings for the eight civil party on the 2nd and 3rd April 2015. Uh, the Chamber will take all the relevant information into account and uh, we will inform parties via the senior legal officers of the trial chamber. The hearing today comes to an end and uh, it will resume tomorrow on the 1st April 2015, starting from 8 a.m. And the uh, hearing tomorrow, tomorrow will continue to hear the testimony of uh, Richard Dutchman via video link from the USA. Uh, parties are invited uh, to be in the hearing as scheduled. Security personnel are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Nunchia and Mr. Kilsumpon back to the detention facility and have them returned uh, here before 8 a.m. tomorrow. The court is now adjourned.